Well, hello everybody, Jeff here from the Learn Portrait Drawing channel. In this video, we are going to begin by drawing this portrait you see right here. Now, if you're a beginner artist, this is going to be perfect for you because we're going to start out with a blank piece of paper and you're going to see exactly how we get the framework and everything to get on the road to finishing this drawing. Now, we don't finish it in this video. That'll be in the next video. This video, though, it's so important because you're going to see how it takes shape, how we start to lay out the features, how we figure out the proportions and how to make sure the eyes are in the right spot, how we deal with mistakes, something we do as beginners a lot. We make mistakes and we think the world is over. We think, I can't draw. Uh, I'm not an artist because look how messed up this looks. Well, I go through that too, and I go through that on this drawing. So you're going to see how we deal with mistakes, how we plan out the drawing, and by the end of this video, you're going to see exactly the direction this is going in. And then the next video after this, we'll take this to the finish line, and you'll see it all the way through. So, before we get on to the video, I just want to say thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, and if you haven't yet, please... Hit that subscribe button, follow me here on YouTube, I really appreciate it, it means a lot to me. Be sure you hit the little bell notification so that way you're informed when I have new videos. Now, no more talking, let's get on to start drawing this portrait right here. Alright everybody, so here we go. Now I might have mentioned this in the intro, but... What we're going to do here is, this is all in real time. The first five minutes of this video, this is my actual speed of drawing. So it's more helpful, I think, so you can just kind of see sort of the movement we're going through. And uh, anyway, right here, I'm taking some soft charcoal, some soft vine charcoal, and we're just laying a background down. And... That's because I'm noticing in this picture that there is a dark background and so I'm just, I want to try and map that out. I'm kind of drawing the darkness around the perimeter and that kind of lets us see where we're going to fit this head on the picture. So this part is called the composition stage. This is where we're trying to figure out in our minds, you know, where the face is going to fall on this picture. And you can see she's kind of slightly favoring the right hand side of the picture so I want to kind of keep that in mind with the drawing that you know we, we have it laid out and balanced correctly so what I'm doing is I'm looking at this outside shape here of the head and I'm not trying to really look at any details I'm just trying to guess kind of where the head is gonna fit so it's okay at this stage when you're doing these kinds of drawings to just kind of, just try and feel sort of how the, how the, the drawing is going to be. You know, feel where the side is going to be. Like over here is the side, the right hand side. You know, I want it to be right there. I don't want it to be anywhere else. I'm trying to just get my overall boundaries of the picture. So see right here, I, I, I'm changing my mind a little bit. I think I want to adjust it slightly. So... Marking right here, this is going to be the far right hand side where I want the hair to be. And then I'm going to guess the hair is about this thickness. So that kind of frames in the face. See, I, I keep sort of making these mistakes, but that's okay. This is the time to make these mistakes. I'm just guessing. So I'm guessing this is about the side of the face. And I'm asking myself, is this about the size I want to make it. You know, this is where we can see if the face is going to be too big or too small. So see this jawline here? I'm, I, it's not really correct. I keep using my finger to erase it, but that's fine. This is all about placement. So does the hair look like it'll be about here? Does the face look like it'll be about here? I don't have the angles correct at this point. But that's okay. We, we just This is all about composition. This is all about deciding how it's going to lay out on the paper. So I'm, I'm trying to just figure out if the shoulder is over here. This side probably has it about right up in here. You know, it's okay. It's just, see, we're just getting a basic 
composition, a basic outline of the overall shape. And this is where we can adjust if we want this hair higher, bring it out further, things like that. So there's a slight angle to her face, kind of comes up like this. And there's a little more of the left hand side showing than the right hand side. So sometimes putting in those little vertical lines kind of help give you an idea of how to map things out. See where your center line is going to be. Um, use that information to get the, the tilt of the face. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. We're going to slowly start to lock in kind of just the general features. So I'm thinking to myself, where are the eyebrows go? So I'm just going to throw in some general placement, you know, look at the side of the face, see how far the eyebrows come out to, look at this overall forehead shape right here, and I'm kind of trying to mimic that subconsciously as I'm doing this. I'm just trying to keep in mind how much space I have for the forehead. That tells me how far down the eyebrows are going to be. So the eye sockets are going to be somewhere in this area here. Again, I'm not, I'm not really drawing anything right now. I'm not really drawing features. I'm just trying to decide where, like here, where is this where the nose is going to be? Well, let's just put a mark here. We'll just put a shadow here for the nose. And it kind of looks correct. It kind of looks like if that's where the eyes are going to be up there, the nose looks like it's about in the right spot. Notice we're not doing any measuring. We're just relying on our eyes at this point. Our eyes are our best measurement. Your eyes will tell you if something looks right or looks wrong. So again, same, same thing here. Trying to figure out where the mouth is going to go. So as the mouth looks like it's probably going to be about here. And does that look like it's enough space for the chin? Um, maybe. Maybe this needs to lower right in here, but again, we, it's, it's easier to adjust the chin up or down or the forehead up or down. It's harder to adjust the eyes, the nose, and the mouth once you have those proportions locked in. So, I'm feeling okay at this point. Notice how we haven't drawn any features, but just by drawing sort of the, the placement it kind of looks like a face. Your brain will f is filling in that information. Your brain is telling you if it's correct or not. So now as we slowly zoom in here, I'm just kind of blending in some of this outside stuff. Um, this isn't really necessary. Uh, I was just sort of experimenting and just seeing how this blending stump was going to work. But I stop right here, and what I want to do is start working on an eye. So we'll work on the right eye here, and we'll zoom up a little closely on the reference picture. Now, here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the eyebrow shape, this whole dark sort of horseshoe shape on this picture. I'm trying to just draw that shape. So I'm not drawing an eyebrow, I'm not drawing an eye, I'm drawing this horseshoe shape. And then based on that width of that horse, that horseshoe shape, I'm kind of going to step down a little bit now and work on this lighter eyelid part. How it kind of comes out and down like this. Sort of like an upside down frying pan. And it's important when you're looking for shapes to draw, use those things. An upside down frying pan. A horseshoe. Think of things that it re reminds you of. And that kind of helps you draw those shapes. And, and it, it helps you look at it as a shape and not as a feature. So see, I'm not trying, not really trying to draw an eye at this point. I'm just trying to draw these 
shapes. And we can see right here that I don't really have the eye correctly. I made the eye kind of up and down, straight ahead, where if you look at the picture, the eye is sort of at a slant, at a tilt. So we're going to correct that, obviously, later as we go along. But right now, it's okay. I didn't really notice it, but we'll notice it later. And that's important for a beginner artist to understand that you don't usually get it right the first time. Even if the final picture looks amazing, usually at this stage, this preliminary stage that we're in right now, we always make mistakes. So don't beat yourself up over it. Don't focus so much on the little tiny details. Right now, we're just trying to lay out the drawing as best as we can. And then we'll make those adjustments as we go along. So you can see here, I kind of laid down sort of like the shape of the nose. And now we're moving up to this eye. And again, I'm looking at this dark shape, the top of the eyebrow, how it comes down, and it makes this sort of, I don't know, this, this, I don't know, what do you, <laughs> I don't know what you would call that, an upside down comma, I don't know. But it has this dark shape here that I'm looking at. And then because that's the shape, I'm going to base the other shapes off of it. So I know that up here starts to form this upper eyelid right up in here. And I'm trying to look at this distance here between the top of the eyebrow and the top of the eyelid. I'm trying to make sure that distance looks correct. Um, and I might have it wrong here. So I'm trying to figure out now like where the actual opening of the eye is and the angle that it's at. So it's, it's very, it's, it's not, uh, the eye isn't open that wide. And now that I'm looking at it, see, I think I have it wrong. I think this eyelid needs to be bigger. So we erase and we're going to increase the size of the eyelid. And now that we increase the size of the eyelid, I can now erase this part of the eye and change the direction a little bit. Make it a little more slanted. Start a little higher like this and come down a little more. That way we kind of maintain that angle. And again, I want you to understand that this is sort of this awkward stage where it's okay to draw something, look at it, realize you made a mistake, and then erase it. Get very comfortable with erasing. Get very comfortable with not beating yourself up. Don't look at the drawing at this stage and go, it looks nothing like the person. That's the worst thing you can do. It's course, of course it's not going to look like the person right now. We're just stepping through. We're just adding some information down. We're taking our best guess. And as we proceed, we're using our eyes to tell us what looks right and what looks wrong. So right now, my eyes, when I'm drawing this picture, my eyes don't tell me that her eyes are wrong. See this right eye here? It's wrong. It should be more slanted. Right now I have them almost at the same level. But when I'm drawing it at this stage, I don't yet see that. My brain doesn't yet see that. So it's okay when you're drawing these, as we take a step back, as we slowly zoom back, it's okay to not see mistakes right away. That's why it's important that when we keep drawing, we learn from everything we do because our drawings are teaching us these lessons. So I'm trying to work on the mouth here. And again, see, I don't have the mouth exactly at the same tilt, which is a mistake, but it's a, it's a mistake that I don't yet see. Of course, we see it now as we look back, but I don't see it at this point of the drawing. But that's what I'm trying to say is at this point of the drawing, it's not always about getting it right. It's about taking our best guess. And as we lay down these lines, as we start laying down these 
tones and these different shades, then we'll start to see where things are wrong. Our eyes will start to tell us what is wrong. And that's why I like drawing in this fashion, kind of jumping around all over the place, because it, we have the freedom to make these changes. You're not locked into any one part of the drawing. We kind of slowly complete the drawing as a whole. You know, if I just worked on one eyeball and got that down, every single little detail of one eyeball, and then I moved on, well, then what happens if I find out the eye needs to be erased? I got to redo all that detail. So when you, when you draw like this, it's easier to erase because we're just... We're not completely finished with the, any one part of the drawing. We can feel free to change things and erase things. So I'm trying to see, you know, we're slowly starting to tilt the head with the shadow on the side. And I'm trying to be mindful of that, you know. This drawing is, is a little difficult because she is tilted. And, like I said, I didn't have the eyes correctly at first. But we'll slowly start to make these changes. We'll slowly start to adjust this eye so it's a little bit higher. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here. I'm, I'm slowly bringing this eye up a little bit higher. But really, this other eye on this side is going to have to go lower. So we're just using, at this stage, this is all a number four charcoal pencil. It's a soft charcoal pencil. And you can see here, I'm just trying to slowly lock in these shapes. So I'm not sure if it's correct, but we just take our best guess. And it's important to be free you don't want to feel too much pressure, okay? Don't, you don't want to draw under pressure. So I'm trying to be free here. I'm trying to just be loose, be free. You know, I see the hair comes out over here, so I'm just scribbling in some dark areas of the hair up in here. I know this little part right here is dark. You know, I think the hair has to come up a little bit. And I'm just looking at the shape of the forehead scene. You know, it looks like we got it about correct. But see how loose this is? See how it's not like uh, drawing any locked in line any locked in shape it's very fluid it's very it's like it's like play-doh or clay it's very easy to mold clay or to mold play-doh and that's kind of what this drawing process is like we're throwing down some shapes we're throwing down some boundaries we're kind of saying this is where the the collar is going to be this is where the shirt's going to be but it's very easy to move it around like right here if i want to raise this up a little bit Look, we just raised it up a little bit. It's just like we're making these little adjustments. And that's what I love about charcoal. Just, it's easy to just raise this up here, make adjustments. And that way we slowly, we're slowly molding this picture. We're slowly creating and forming the way it's supposed to be, the correct angles of this shadow here, how it comes down, looking at where it falls down at the shirt, looking where it starts on this side of the neck and how it forms this shape here. And we're not locked into anything. We can always erase, we can always change.
So see, again, at this stage, I don't even have her head tilted correctly. I don't even have her eyes on the same slanted level as they are in the picture. But we're going to get to that. We're, gonna, we're going to notice that. We're going to change that. But at this stage, we're still laying down information, slowly bringing the drawing together. Trust your eyes. Constantly ask yourself, you know, what do I want to work on? What needs to be added in here? And see, I'm I'm just working on the hair at this point. I'm seeing this is darker area of the hair. Over here is a little bit darker, but not as much. So I'm just blending in this background a little bit. Keeping it very rough, very loose. Here's where I'm pretty sure the chin's going to go. The mouth, I'm slowly, again, this is all about adjusting. So I'm slowly starting to see, you know, maybe the mouth needs to come up just a little bit. I'm seeing the upper lip is darker. And the, the bottom lip is catching all that light. And see how I was just working on the mouth, but now I jump right back to the hair. Completely normal. You know, that's just the way, that's sort of my style of drawing this, you know, is just to kind of jump all over the place. I like that freedom. I like not being locked into anything like that. So here I'm just using my finger, kind of blend in the charcoal, and that gives an overall tone to the hair. Let's me see sort of the overall shape. Let's me know if I need to maybe bring the hair higher or lower. Kind of locks in that shape of the forehead. Locks in the face a little bit. And so I'm just using my fingers to kind of blend in, kind of smooths it out a little bit. Blend in the shadow underneath the chin. So again, at this stage, it's the whole first hour of a drawing. This is exactly what it is. Feeling it out. You're trying to lock in sort of where the picture is going, you know, slowly let it take shape, slowly bring it to life. She hasn't quite yet come to life yet. So I'm trying to see here, just estimate how far this hair comes out. Again, trying to look at the shape. This shape, this angle of the hair. And we'll slowly kind of work on the eye. I'm, I'm slowly starting to see maybe it needs to change a little bit. And I want to maintain that, you know, she's got to, you really see that upper eyelid. So I'm trying to increase the size here of that frying pan shape, that upside down frying pan. I'm trying to keep that in there and be true to that shape. Now all I'm doing at this stage, I'm just focusing on this eye. That's all. I'm trying to start to breathe life into this picture. Even though I don't have the eye necessarily correct. I haven't yet noticed that the eye needs to come down a little bit. We're actually going to get to that in the next video. In the next video we're going to make a lot of the big changes and finish up this drawing. But in this video, I just want you to see sort of what the beginning process is like.
how there's a lot of erasing, there's a lot of just making these second guesses. If anybody has any questions, by the way, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. Um, and then I think on some of my next drawings, what I might try and do is actually narrate it in real time. Not do voiceovers like this, but actually talk in real time. Because now that I'm breaking my videos up into multiple segments, I think I can get away with that more. I didn't do that before because I, I was just doing big three hour long videos and I don't think that's the right way to go. So I think I might do some more real time narration and talk to you as I'm drawing and then just break the video up into you know two or three different segments. So this video we're breaking up into two segments. This first segment, it's all about the hardest part of the drawing which is starting. Starting the drawing, knowing how to lay out the features, seeing that it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to not get it right. Don't beat yourself up over it because we can erase, we can make changes. And that's what part two of this video is gonna be about. Part two of this series, which is gonna come out the next video, is where we're gonna change what we have and really lock it down and turn it into a realistic drawing. The first hour of the drawing, it's not about how real can you make it. We're just trying to get proportions as best as we can. Trying to get the eyes the right distance away from the nose. Trying to get the nose the right distance away from the mouth. Making sure the mouth is the right distance above the chin. And you can see in my picture, even though it doesn't necessarily look like her, even though the head isn't tilted the way it is in the picture, you can see in my drawing that the eyes and the nose and the mouth and the chin, they're, they're all pretty accurate as far as proportion. They're kind of in the right spot. We don't really feel, our eyes aren't telling us that it needs to be moved up or down, right? So that's why I'm saying use your eyes as your best measurement tool. Your eyes will tell you if something needs to change. And our eyes are not telling us at this stage that anything is v drastically wrong. So we're almost wrapping up this video, we're almost wrapping up this drawing. We're moving at about twice the speed of my normal drawing, maybe a little bit faster. But this represents the first hour of my drawing. This is what my drawing looks like after about an hour of drawing. Very rough, very charcoaly, not at all finished, not at all locked into what it should be. But that's okay, because after the first hour, what I always do is I take a break. Sometimes that break is for a few hours. Sometimes I take a break till the next day. But then I look back at the drawing and that's when I start seeing what needs to be corrected. And I already can see that that tilt of the head needs to be adjusted. We're drawing her looking almost straight on and that is not how she's looking at in the picture. And so that's something I notice when I take my break. And when we come back for part two of this video, we're really going to make those changes. We're going to take where we leave off here and we're going to really push this drawing into a realistic level.
And even at this stage, even though I haven't yet made the major changes, you can see I'm slowly starting to tweak things. I'm slowly starting to like raise this up just a little bit. Ever so slightly. Changing the way this eye is. Trying to increase this upper eyelid. And as dark as charcoal is, you can see it's still okay to erase. Because once we start shading over everything, you don't see those marks that were once underneath it. So I'm trying to, again, lock in this shape, this sort of comma shape, this dark shape of this eyebrow. And that shape tells me how big this upper eyelid is going to be. So I'm just slowly trying to draw in this upper eyelid. And we just blend it back together. See, I'm slowly, I'm slowly raising that angle up a little bit of that eye. I appreciate all you guys for watching this. And uh, like, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, I do read all my comments. I do answer any questions that we may have. But if you like this video, please stay tuned for the next video because the next video really is going to take this rough drawing that we're leaving with. We're leaving on this rough drawing note. This one hour sketch is basically what we have here. The next video, we're going to take this one hour sketch that we have here and we are going to push it to the next level and finish it off. We're going to make all the changes and all the corrections that we have to make. And uh, we're really going to show you how it's going to look. So here we go. This is what my drawing looks like after one hour. And next video, we are going to change it up. And I welcome you all to stick around for that. Check out these other videos on the screen. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. And we'll see you next time.